people like to talk about there being natural born artists and it sounds silly but people definitely you could see the detail in his sketching at a young age so I'm the artist's sister I'm actually his younger sister and we have an older sister Rebecca as well so Jonathan is sandwiched between the two of us <laughs> which means we like to do a lot of talking for him Jonathan built with a lot of Lego played with a lot of different things sketched all the time and if you talk to Jonathan he's not an artist he's a painter and it's something that he does and he's okay at it that's that's my brother the most modest human being that you'd ever want to meet he's usually working on about three or four pieces at a time just because there is that constant back and forth and drawing in between by feeding your soul and allowing yourself to take time to actually do what fulfills you for Jonathan that might be Lego or being creative for me that's going for a walk or making dinner for family or friends I think it's easy to reflect and look back on where was your happiness as a child and then try to incorporate some of those simple things into your day-to-day -day life I started tattooing about five and a half years ago. I didn't want to start tattooing before because I didn't think it was as custom and expressive as it is today. I actually wanted to do other fields of art, but then when I realized getting my first tattoo, just how much creative freedom the artists get, it really pulled me in then. I do take things from a lot of portrait art stuff. I bring in elements of realism and stuff to my art as well. During the consultation process, I get to learn a little bit about the people and kind of put a little bit of them into the art as well as my own style. The most important one I would say would be my teapot. It brings in a lot of memories. I had my grandfather with the poppies of him being in the war and then the teapot, me going there after school every day and making a cup of tea for him and my grandmother. It's rewarding as well when you get to see how much it means to them, especially like tattoos with a ton of meaning poured into them, knowing that they're in love with it and then they're gonna take it to the grave. I think it's one of the only forms of art you can really carry with you throughout your entire life.